In the previous video, we have learned the concept of an inner product space with an example. Now, in this video, we shall come to this theorem and prove the following statements. Okay, so let V be an inner product space, then for x, y, z belonging to V and C belonging to F, the following statements are true. Let us prove the first one. So here, we shall prove that inner product x, y plus z is equal to inner product x, y plus inner product x, z. So can I write this one like this with a complex conjugation? Yes. Why? Because V is an inner product space and we know that in an inner product space then, these four conditions are satisfied. So, this one, complex conjugation of this, is equal to inner product y, comma, x. Okay? So, that's why here, this one is exactly equal to this. So, and we know that inner product y plus z, comma, x is similar to this one. It is similar to inner product x plus z comma y which is equal to inner product x comma y plus z comma y. So use this one. We can write this as what? Inner product y comma x plus inner product z comma x. With this bar, okay, the complex conjugation. So then... Here, what do we have? This bar will be applied to both inner product y, comma x plus z, comma x with this bar. Okay. And what is this? Have a look from here. Complex conjugation of x, y here is exactly equal to inner product y, comma x so this can be written as inner product x comma y by applying which one this third one okay so in a similar way here also we have so it is set okay set yeah so here it is what x comma z okay so the first part is proved so now let us prove the second one. So we have to show that the inner product x comma c y is equal to c bar inner product x comma y. So this one also we can write it as c y comma x. Okay. By applying which one? By applying this one because v is an inner product space. So hence. What do we have here? So, first, we apply for this part, okay? Look from here, the second part. Inner product Cx, y is equal to C inner product xy. So, let's apply that one. So, we have here C inner product y, x. So, the bar is here, okay? So, this bar will be applied to both. To both the scalar and these vectors okay y comma x like this so again what is this use this one okay complex conjugation x y equal to inner product y x so here it is x y so the second one also is proved now let us come to the third one we have to show that inner product x comma 0 is equal to inner product 0 comma x equal to 0 that means here let us choose this one okay so inner product 0 comma x so what is this this is a scalar this is a vector okay this is a vector 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 so we get a scalar so if we multiply a scalar, okay, 
with a vector we get a vector hmm. so this this is a vector so we can write it as 0 into 0 vector comma x because 0 into 0 vector is 0 vector so this one is of the form what it is of the form c x comma y where c is a scalar okay so this one is a scalar and this one is exactly equal to what it is equal to c inner product x comma y so we can take the scalar outside and we have zero vector plus x sorry zero vector comma x and zero into anything is zero so this is also the same for inner product x comma zero vector hence this third one also is proved that's all